Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about the Infinite Coin Shop. Now, a lot of people are wondering, oh, what should I buy? Why should I buy it? Blah, 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 blah. Today, I'm going to go over what you should buy, why you should buy it, why you shouldn't buy certain things. And then we're going to talk about the general efficiency in terms of like what order to buy things in. Okay, so with the shop, there are a couple things that are worth going over. So the first part that I'm going to go over is not actually the infinite section, but I'm going to go over the limited section. I'm going to go over the things that I think are worth buying in here. A lot of people are wondering, what do I buy? What do I not buy? Why do I buy it? Why do I not buy it? So let's go over it, and then I'll let you know the total costs. So the first thing is, we always buy Double Mon. All right, Double Mon absolutely have to be purchased. There is no reason not to buy the Double Mon. So we'll buy them all out so you guys can see what my shop looks like at the end. Um, I think that the legend artifacts, honestly, I think legend artifacts are worth it. Maybe you don't think it's worth it because artifacts generally roll like crap for you anyways. So you might want to skip it, but I think they're worth it. Uh, rehabs are an absolute must buy under every circumstance. The immemorials, I think are also a must buy under every circumstance. Immemorials, the way I look at immemorials is basically every immemorial to me is like a violent grind, violent gem. So if I get anything that's even close to good, it just saves me all the time of having to farm one. Uh, crystals are also a no-brainer. I think the crystals are really good because they recycle back into the event. So if you buy crystals, you obtain crystals, you get more coins. You spend crystals, you get more coins, right? No-brainer, very easy pickup. Um, I think the ancient coins are also worth it. Ancient coins can either translate to units you don't own if you don't have um, if you don't have a Fran, if you don't have an Ergar, or if you don't have a, um, what's it called, Bernadotte, the fire ken. So I think ancient coins are also great. You can put them into reaps if you already have all of those other units. And basically everything else in the shop, I think, is luxury. So let's go over the first one. A lot of people are going to ask about the legendary scrolls. I don't think the legendary scrolls are actually worthwhile. Um, the reason I don't think it's worthwhile is because your average rate for lightning is 1 in 11 anyways. Between 1 in 11 and 1 in 12. I think you're better off just spending the coins you would spend to buy three legend scrolls to just buy more scrolls or more energy and farm something else. Um overall the value of a legend scroll really isn't as good as people think it is i think if it was an ld it would be a no-brain but because it's not i don't value it um the six star scroll so the instant six star scroll is pretty nice um not absolutely necessary i do think you should buy that over the rainbow one though because the value difference between the two is a lot better um i six star a lot of things for siege so i actually will buy the forbidden evolution scroll just because it's a time saver for me the awakening force i generally don't need awakening force um I get a lot of, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of essences just from doing world boss every single day. So that's not really something that I value. Uh, the super angel mon I do actually value though. Super angel mon is a big time saver for me. It's definitely not quote unquote necessarily super efficient because you could be using that energy for farming ruins, etc. But eventually you do have to level up units anyways. So I think that that one's actually not bad. It's a big time saver. Uh, but the, I think the one that people are probably most wondering about is the summoning stones. Now, do I think the summoning stones are worth it? One summon for 250. I'm going to say yeah, just because summon stones are such a rare resource. Um, but I also don't mind spending like a small amount of coins on it. Overall, it's not really that big of a deal to pick them up. It's definitely something you can skip, but not something that you absolutely should skip. So now looking at all the things that I purchased, essentially what we're looking is I've spent 12,700 coins, right? Um, I'll be honest, I literally just added those numbers up with a calculator before I remembered that you could just go to the top of the screen. So I may laugh. Uh, but what I want to talk about now is the efficiency of the coin shop. So first of all, if you want to see how you can obtain coins, you can click that here. Basically, we get coins for check-ins. We get it for energy used, acquired crystals, used crystals, guild content, dimensional energy, and world arena. So I have made, a, I've actually created a little notepad that kind of talks about how how much I will get in terms of resources. Uh, that I want to show you guys because I farm a fair amount, but you can also scale this back or scale it up depending on how much you farm. So let me pull that window up really quickly here. So there's a couple things I want to show. So first of all, we have the image on the left here. The image on the left here defines basically how much it costs to purchase a certain number of each thing. So as you can see, one coin purchased, number of purchases, that should actually be basically Mystic Scrolls, right? So that's how many, how much it costs to buy how many Mystic Scrolls you want. Um, the five coins purchased is the other three, which is the mana, the energy, and the hero runes. So before we go into the actual charts, the first thing I want to say is people will tell you don't buy the mana. People will tell you don't buy the runes. I think that they're wrong. I think if you if you need mana for any reason, it is very efficient to buy mana at least up until a certain point. 
my point would probably be 100 purchases of mana, maybe 150 if you're farming enough. Um, and same with the runes, right? Even if the runes can be any set, you're still taking 100 runes for a very inexpensive cost versus spending a lot more for like maybe 50 extra scrolls. So I will explain that when we go through the chart, but I just want you guys to know that if you want to buy mana from the event, it's worth it. If you want to buy runes from the event, it's also worth it. So looking at the chart here, we have... Uh, we basically have the breakpoints of 100, 150, and then up to 200. Once we reach the 200, they only increase the amount by 100 each. And the reason they do that is because the cost increases, like the base increase for each item goes up uh, based on how many you have. So if you look here and we look at the chart, so after you've purchased 100 of them, the increased amount changes to plus 2. Uh, 200, it changes to plus 3. 300, it changes to plus 4. And then 400 or more, it changes to plus 5. So now this ends up just being really 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 expensive over a certain amount of time as you can see in the chart so if you want 500 mystic scrolls it is going to cost you 275,750 coins um essentially i brought up this uh, sigma sum calculator so you can see how the calculation works at a base so this is how we get the 50 50 which is right here for the first 100 you count from 0 to 99 where you add one each time and then it shows the math down here if you want to take a look but um, I'll link all these things below, um, including the image uh, in the description, so you guys can check it out yourself. But uh, the only mistake I want to mention is right here. This is supposed to say number of purchased is one. This is actually just a typo error, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, when it comes to farming for the event, uh, we looked at the cost for what it takes to get certain items, basically how many coins you will get a day. I mapped it out to farming 7,000 energy a day. Now, I know a lot of players won't farm 7,000 energy a day. 7,000 energy is like 2,000 crystals a day. This is a very large amount. If you are free to play, if you are a very light spender, you can scale these numbers back and figure this out for yourself. Um, I estimated that I do 40 wings a day as well, which is uh, about about 20 to 25 RTA and then 10 to, uh, 10 to 20 regular wings. Uh, my daily packs give me about 90, uh, 50 coins due to the crystal income from them. You, know, you get, um, what is it? 90 90 a day or 180 a day or something from that so i estimated that i'll get around 8,000 crisp up uh, coins per day right so i made this estimation about three days ago when it was 40 to five days from the event so that was 360,000 total coins that i'll be farming in the event now what i get as well total event check-ins i'm gonna get 7400 from check-ins which is the daily check-ins and then the 10 20 and 30 days um and then i also estimated 150 per week uh, for guild content. And the reason I estimated it low is because I miss a lot of Guild Wars. I'm not exactly the most uh, astute Guild Wars member. So we put that estimation a little bit low. 150 dimensional whole energy per week assumes that you buy the 30 energy per week. So for that, I have the 4,500. So the rough total for me was about 410,000 coins with a uh, minus 12.7K for the limited shop costs. So essentially I have something around like 400,000 coins to work with. Now, in terms of the most efficient ways to spend these coins, I think that what I'm going to be doing is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy 300 Mystic Scrolls. So 300 Mystic Scrolls puts me at 70,000 um, coins spent, right? So I have 330,000 coins left. Now, if I do that, then I can purchase 200 units of energy and 200 units of runes for about 200 and, well, it would be 201,000 points, right? So 201,000 points plus the 70,000 gives me 270,000. I still have 130,000 that I can spend on other things. So for me, I think what's going to be most efficient is buying another 100 scrolls because it's only an 80,000 increase. So I'm still left over with a decent surplus. If you're someone who's farming probably like, let's say, let's say you farm half as much as me. You farm 200,000 coins, right? I think that what's going to be efficient for you is probably 300 mystic scrolls and then picking up 150 energy, 150 runes. And then maybe you put the rest into mana if you need it. If you don't need mana, obviously you can get more scrolls, you can get more energy and runes. But I wanted to put this out here because I think a lot of people are looking at the event. They're like, I'm just going to get 500 Mystic Scrolls. My Mystic Scrolls are sick. But there is a break point where the cost of items becomes too expensive if you're not out farming it by a significant rate. Right? It's not going to be possible to get 500 of everything. There's no way you're getting 1.5 million coins in this event. Unless maybe you're wailing like crazy and you're just spending uh, crystals on scrolls. But realistically, getting somewhere around the 200,000 coin mark is probably pretty good if you're like a light spender. Maybe 150,000 if you're if you're free to play or even like 130,000. If you're a spender like me, I think 400k is pretty reasonable. 
Um, I'm mostly just spending crystals on uh, on farming, right? I'm not buying packs or anything like that to to buy more scrolls. So kind of try to figure this out yourself. If you have questions, you're like, you know, I have this many coins. I, I estimate this many coins for the end of the event. Um, I don't really know what I should spend it on. Here's my progression. You ask me in the comments. I'll try my best to answer. You guys know I've been answering all the questions in the last few videos. I'm here for you. Eighth year anniversary is a really good time to bring back players, to bring new players in. So I want to do my best to try to help you guys. Uh, keep in mind, this video will be coming out before I leave for San Jose Meetup. So if I don't respond to you over the weekend, it's because I'm in San Jose and I'm busy, you know, doing the Summers Road Meetup. So I will try my best to help you guys. If you have any questions, you let me know. Um, other than that, I really hope this video helped you guys a lot. I know it's a little bit different. It's a little bit nerdy on the math side, but it is something that I value teaching people. And I want people to be able to make really good educated decisions for themselves. Uh, last thing I want to say, guys, uh, if you do see this video early enough, I will be doing my summons uh, Wednesday night. So on 420, uh, probably around like the 8 p.m. PST mark. I think I have 1.6K Mystic Scrolls, maybe a little bit more. Um, so hopefully I can get a whole bunch of new units. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.